Hello, welcome to my printable, <laughs> here we go, floral file folio kit. <laughs> I did it. I'm going to show you what, we, what you get in the kit first of all, and then um, we'll go ahead and make some things up. So we've got this um, main file folder in three different designs, in these pretty faded vintage florals with some sort of quite subtle hints of lace on them and the file tabs at the top. Then we've got these two large um, pockets or pages, depending on what we do with them. We've got two different designs of those. Then we've got these sweet little um, file folder fronts that we can do various different things with and these little tabs with dividers on them. Two different designs of those. And then we've got these pretty little postcards and library cards and some little pockets with little lace edges and some additional little cards. And then we've got these gorgeous vintage uh, metal filing cabinet drawer front type designs with some um, foldable tabs here that we can either make a solid tab out of or use to make a little pocket and some little divider tabs here that we can use to put on um, these additional pages. And then we've got five plain backing pages which you can use to print onto the top onto the backs which I've done here with some of these to print on the backs of some of your pages that you want to show both sides of. So we've got a, um, a lined vintage aged paper page, we've got a plain paper page, we've got a, I don't know if I can separate them, we've got this beautiful, I love this floral, it's my favourite, favourite design of all the kits and things I do. I think this is actually my favourite design. Um, and then we've got this beautiful vintage faded uh, polka dot and another floral. So these these five pages, as you can see, I've actually printed on the back of some of these. I've got an error there, but we'll still use that. You see, I've gone ahead and I've printed on the reverse of these already. Now it doesn't matter, I've designed these carefully because I know how confusing it can be, it doesn't matter which way round when you've printed these pages out you can just go ahead stick them back in your printer, print on the reverse of them and it doesn't matter which way round you go. These are printed slightly larger than any of these pages so you don't have to worry which way round you're getting it and is it going to is it going to print out right, have you got it the wrong way round because you don't want to be wasting your lovely resources. So there we are, there's your pack of 15 pages in total. Uh, you can print out duplicates and obviously, you know, maybe even print out a couple of pages that are just papers so you can make your, like this page with the error page that I printed. I've gone ahead and printed on the other side anyway because I can cut out extra little tabs and pockets and things that I want and this page won't be wasted. So I'll go ahead, cut out some of these now ink around the edges and then we'll go ahead and we'll make some up and uh, see what we're dealing with. Okay. Here we are then. <laughs> I've cut lots of things out. I've inked lots of things up and uh, yeah that's quite a lot of stuff. I've doubled up on a couple of the pages because I want to have more to play with like these and I've also um, printed on the backs as well. Um, We've got all these library cards, all these different things. Right, OK, let's get going. I'm going to move all of this out of the way and then we'll start doing the fun bit for me anyway, which is the sticking it all together. Right, so I'm ready to go. I've got one of my file folders here and I've picked out some um, elements that I'm going to use in this one. If I can find my glue, good start. We'll get going. Right, what I'm going to do first is open this out. I've pre-creased this, I've, I've um, scored it with my little um, Ujimi flop device and that's really helped uh, give me a nice good crease. So I'm going to start off by putting one of these large pockets over here. Which one shall I use? I'm going to put one here and I'm going to put one here. I think I'll go this way round just because, you know, and I'm going to leave one of these side, this side open, so I've got a nice big tuck spot in there. So I'm just going to go ahead now and glue 
all the way around this edge using my fine needle tipped applicator bottle. There we go, and I'll squish that down. Try and get it nice and straight. And just press that down. There we go. And on top of this, um, shall I do the same with this side first of all? I could make this into a um, flap actually to tuck things behind. Shall I do that? Do you know, I think I might. But what I'll do first is I'll score it. I'll just pop and get my scoring board and I'll score a line down here, down one of these edges. Mm, just a little way in. A nice score. Get you out of the way. Fold this back because I have printed on the other sides of all of these. So I've got space for writing or whatever I might want. Now what I'll do. Yeah, I quite like that. Oh, is that going to cause a problem with my other idea? Um, eh, maybe a little bit. Let's see. I was going to pop one of these on here, but if I'm going to be folding this back, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? So if I put this back through the scoring board, I'll score both of them. And that's that problem solved. So I'll go back over the same line. <laughs> line that up. With me a little bit of wire here. That'll do. I'll give that a score as well. All right, we'll get this scoring board out of the way. Um, and now I will glue this down just on this edge. Straight if we can, always a bonus. I'll just stick that down, give that a moment. There we are. I might as well go ahead and stick this down over the top. I'll give that a bit of a, a flex. Let me go and I'll stick that down there like that. I'm only going to do the edges, obviously. I'll make sure I'll do all of this edge properly. So it's got some strength there and then just burn that little seam of glue right the way around the edge, nice and fine. And pop this in place. Then -da! sorted, done and dusted. Oh, <laughs> straight's nice if we can. I'm a little bit short there. But um, I don't mind. I really, really don't mind the, the actual files that you receive. Uh, for printing are absolutely spot on. Uh, I use my big paper trimmer, which I love, but it, it's, a, it's a great big uh, old machine um, and it doesn't always line up properly. Uh, but I don't mind about that at all. So that's that done. So now we've got this lovely pocket here, which opens. <laughs> Let's not make, help that glue. And this opens as well. So we can tuck things behind here. And we'll just have to let that dry now. And we've got our nice tuck spot here. Now over here, I'm going to stagger these little beauties. I've got this to go on the front. When you get them on your um, printable sheets, um, they come with these little edges. Um, if you want to go to the bother of cutting out those middles, or you've got um, a cutting machine, by all means, you know, you do that. But I found that just for the sake of neatness and for the sake of the fact that I've got an awful lot of cutting to do, I just trimmed those all down square and I like the look of them. So do whichever, whichever you fancy. Right. So I think I'll start with, I want the blue in the middle. So it looks like I've got a bit of contrast there. And then I think I'm going to go pretty much like that I like the way that looks so I'll start here I know that I'm going to go about level with the bottom of that rose so I can safely go and 
glue this edge line it up to where I eyed it before there oh that's nice look how that's turned out there's a little rose poking, poking through that cut out there right in the middle there's one let's line these up so I know where I'm gluing that one I'm going to go at the bottom so this one I want to go about in the middle so that's going about here now if I wanted to I could put a little mark down here because that's going to be covered up anyway I'll do that let's put a little mark there so I know where I'm going and again we're going to glue all the way around this edge with my beautiful little applicator bottle I love I, do, I will talk about this in um, in videos because it's been an absolute game changer for me the type of glue that I'm using and using the applicator bottle as well with this fine needle it means that I can go close to the edge I don't have to do all of this sort of this with my finger that I used to do an awful lot no sticky finger anymore and I'm using a really beautiful strong glue that gives me a little bit of wiggle room but not too much that it's slow to dry one of my favorite designs this with the rose on it so I'm putting that one in the front and we'll put that about there like that that's going lined up with the bottom so that's easy enough to know so we'll glue look how fine this line is I wonder if you can pick it up on the on the video I'm not sure it's just like a pencil line that's how thin it is right we'll line this up like this and there we have pretty much our first folio completed and we'll give that a little while to dry before we come back and mess with it any further or we can do this put my little tab on the front I could if I wanted to and why not glue around three sides here as well and then I've got a little tiny tuck pop that in the middle just there <laughs> how cute's that there we go obviously we need to let the glue dry we can have a look at um, what it looks like when we start putting our little tab fold tab <laughs> tab files in it little index cards there we go there's a set of three there I'm using the blue just to contrast a little um, let's put that in the back because that's had the longest time to dry that'll slip very nicely in there and you've got these little library cards that I love I'll pop a couple in the middle here I'm being a bit careful because I'm aware that the glue is still drying and then we've got I'll pop one of those in the front there and we can pop a tiny little bit of something under here in here goodness knows what we can put we've got these lovely postcards I didn't print out many of these I wish I'd have printed out a few more but I can always go back and do that oh they fit in there even with that little fold so that's nice I'll take it out because I don't want to get it glued um, and then when we open this we could even pop a couple of those in perhaps they're going to be too big now aren't they yeah they're going to be too big but we've got all sorts of other bits and pieces here that we can use and you can also use your own things uh, one of the things I did was I printed a card wrong I haven't inked these out inked these in or rounded the corners um, but I could do that and then I've got some extra little bits and bobs or whatever I wanted lists or notes or anything I can put in there and that is one of our little file folders complete that's the center one there look at that really cool I'm taking these things out now let that glue dry so anything doesn't get accidentally glued in and I'll go away and get another one and come back hello right I've been away I've had a little play about and I've decided what I'm going to do for my second folder which is this one I am going to simply put a big tuck pocket here like this so you can go in down this edge so I'll glue this on going down these three sides with my fine little applicator nozzle and 
there we go that'll do nicely so that makes one nice big pocket and we'll centralize that and pop it on there and i'm going to use this nice blue pocket and put it about here so that it's got this little border all the way around so i'll go ahead and glue three sides in case you don't know about the um the bottle i'm using you haven't heard me talking about it before or you're not onto it yourself um, this is a soft bottle. Let me just glue this down. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. Let me just glue this down. There goes the dog. There we go. This bottle is a soft bottle. There's a name for this plastic. I can't remember what it is. And I think these bottles are sold for va for vaping, for e-juice, that kind of thing. Um, but I love them. I, I love how small this bottle is, so I'm not squeezing air out before my uh, glue comes out, which you see an awful lot. Um, and it's so easy. There's never any strain on your fingers. You're not squeezing it too hard. And also, this fine needle tip is just, like I said before, it's a game changer. Look how thin that is. Okay, so that's that bit. Now, this pocket, this side... Uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I want to stick this in here, so that's underneath. And then on the top, I want to stick this page. But I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to score it at the top. I'm going to score it at the bottom so that it becomes like an opening door. Um, and the reason I want to do that is that sometimes I might want to put bulkier papers behind, which these tuck spots don't allow you to do unless they're gusseted, which these aren't. Um, so that when that it's when it's folded, these bit the bits aren't going to fall out of the sides, and I've got room to I don't know stick a few extra notes and things like that. But I've still got a little pocket underneath there, so I'll go ahead and cut this in half if I can find my paper trimmer. You can be as accurate as you like. I'm a bit slapdash with things, so what I'm going to do is just crease that and give myself a little guide there which is exactly where i thought it was going to be so i could have just gone ahead and cut it slice that in half are we right almost bob on i don't really mind get the paper trimmer out of the way uh, get my little scoring board score myself a line at the top and the bottom it doesn't have to be particularly uh, accurate you can just eyeball it and get it nice and straight if you can i'm not sure i got that straight at all didn't have it lined up properly that'll be a nuisance let's go over that again see how it goes oh it's not too bad actually right move this out of the way and then i can just fold that fold this and go ahead and glue this in place right i want to know where i'm gluing this pocket so i'm going to do this and line that up pop it down line that up and i know i want to come down a little bit here so that it's all nice and central so i'm going to go back there so i'm going to go there with the pocket get that pocket at the bottom nice and even now then i haven't thought this through as you can probably tell, because I've got no idea. <laughs> I've got no idea how I'm going to do this. Um, I think I'll glue the back of the pocket. And then just uh, wing it. Let's move this a little bit further up. So I'll glue my three sides. This glue dries really quickly, but there is enough time to wiggle things about. So it's gorgeous. Uh, I'll show you what it is in a minute. There we go. So I'll do that. I know oh, I can tell I can line it up with this one, can't I? Oh, I'm such a thinking dork. Look at this. I could have done that all the time. There we are. 
line it up with that one of course that's the obvious thing to do this is the bit that I find the most fun the cutting out I know people love cutting out I'm not one of those people I love the actual having all my components and off camera I'm just covered with um, with components at the moment and I love this bit it's like right what am I going to do with that what am I going to do with that so now I can take this I'll check it out that's perfect and I'll glue this along the bottom edge only Make sure I can see how much I've got because I want this to be a nice strong bond so I'll scribble the glue on and pop that down like that go on that's a little bit wider than my actual top piece isn't it not to worry I'll just make sure we get it as straight as we can stick that down and then I'll scribble over this piece you see and with this glue with this narrow nozzle I know I keep going on about it but it's amazing I used to have to have a piece of paper underneath me so I could go right up to the edge move the piece of paper out of the way there'd be glue on the top of my work on my fingers um, and that's just not a thing anymore so I'm sticking that button this up nice and close like this nice and tight and gluing like this if I want which I might do actually is I could put uh, what have I got here I could put a little tab over there couldn't I so that you'd have to oh <laughs> get straight I'm wiggling about when I'm not looking set yeah I could do that I'm not sure I'm particularly fond of this particular piece have we got anything else kicking around here I've got so much stuff uh, there we go got that oh now I quite like that I quite like that. If I glued that onto there, um, is that going to work? Why not? Let's do it. I'm going to stick that glue, 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 all over there like that. Yeah, make sure I don't glue onto the second side because that would glue it together, which would be stupid. Stick that down like that. Yay! Look at that. So now. I have to lift this up to open that delightful darlings delightful there I like that impromptu little bit of thing um what am I going to do over here I'm done with this side and I think I'm done with this side as well you know that folds open this glue's still wet so you know serve me right if things go slipping about and end up ending up in the wrong place because I'm an impetuous fool there we go. And then I've got my little pocket at the front here for my whatevers. I've got these nice little cards there. And also, I'm hoping, like here's a few pages from a notebook. I'm hoping they could go in there and just sit there quite nicely. Obviously, that's not closed. I could put a magnet on there. Could do. I have got magnets. Love me magnets. Um, but I won't do that for the, uh, for the video. There's all sorts of ways of fi fixing and fastening. Um, and I think that's my other file complete. So now, obviously, when you close this, you need to uh, be mindful of that and close it. Um, so now we have two of the three files. Let's review. Look at this. Open that up. Oh, I could pop stuff in there. <laughs> but, oh, I can pop it in all sorts of places there. I've got a pocket there. I've got um oh, I've got a flap here, haven't I? That's right, which I um keep things behind. And then I've got my new folder here, which we've just made, which has this little area down here to keep things nice and secure and safe. And I've got my little pocket there, and I've got my file folder here, which I could put these in if I wanted to. I can't find them. There they are. I could put my little uh, subject cards, dividers, what we call in those, I'm not sure, but I could pop some of those in there if I wanted for my little subject headings. I've got my, um, I've got another tuck spot there for bits and bobs. And there we are. Two. Right. I'm going to go away, have a look at what I've got for um, the last file folder, which is this one. The first one which is absolutely my favourite one. I love this design. Absolutely love, 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 love this design. Um, so I'll go and have a little bit of a play, come back when I've made my decisions, and we'll get that one glued together. Okay. 
Right then, here we jolly well go. I was deeply inspired <laughs> by this here because I think this is going to be really useful for what I want. I want to be able to oh, have little sections of things but not be restricted by the flatness of a tuck spot. So I'm going to have, I'm going to expand on that idea and this time I'm going to put two in this side and I've got my two pieces here. Also, I've got a lot of stuff to use up and I'm on my last page. So this is the playing with bit that I absolutely enjoy so much. So I'm going to put two of those in there. So I've got two little um, flaps there. So I'm going to crease both of those like I did last time. I wonder if I can do them both together. Who knows? Let's have a go. Line them up at the top so they're nice and square. So I know I'm getting straight lines. Don't mind really how much there is there. Enough. Let's have a little less. There we go. Let's try scoring them both together. It's quite thick though. It's like 600 grams. Oh, this card, by the way, that I'm using is a uh, matte card coated, matte coated card stock, because uh, I always prefer that. Um, oh, look, I've come through, but I can always just take that off without moving this other one and give it another score. Genius move by Parrish there. Right, I'll put that to one side. Now I've got these two, I'm just gonna fold these over, get them used to life as a folded piece of card. Uh, yeah, 300 gram um, matte coated cardstock, um, which is nice. That's the thickest that goes through my printer. Um, I've got an Epson EcoTank printer, which I adore. Um, and the maximum paper weight it said when I bought it was 250 gram, but I knew I needed to get 300 gram through there. Uh, so um, I just held my breath um, and tried and it worked. And I was so, so pleased. So for this type of project, I'll, I'll go as thick as I can. I'll go the 300 gram. Everything feels nice and expensive and sturdy. Uh, when I inked, I only inked on one side like that. Could have gone the other side as well. Um, but there was quite a lot of inking to do at the time when I was lonely. Right, so we'll stick that down like that and stick the other one bang on top of it. You could if you wanted as well. And I did toy with the idea of doing it, but I didn't do it in the end. Rather than give yourself one crease there, if you give yourself another crease quite close to it I don't know um, a, a bit <laughs> you could have a gusseted um, file folder so you've got more room for stuff which is a great idea I just didn't do it line that up bang that down check we're working oh look at that oh right now that's interesting we have to set this one slightly this way so this one's got room to open okay so we've got a little bit of a stagger there which is smashing that's fine don't mind that at all stick that down um right what was i going to do on this page i think i would oh this one yeah i was going to just stick that down on there and maybe that one as well do i go at the bottom do i go slightly higher up i think i'll go slightly higher because i like this little printed faded uh, frame here so I think I'll go there with those I don't want to go too high up with this one because I want this to show through that's so pretty so I think we'll go there like that I'll put a little mark down here because that's going to be covered up so that's fine I'll glue around my three edges oh I need to fill my glue bottle up I don't like it when it uh, when it burps out like that So, oh look I haven't thought this through have I uh, right I've got an issue here because this is going to need to fold ah oh, this isn't going to work and I've just laid it down how annoying um, right what am I going to do I'll crease this with my finger in the right kind of place like that improvisation creativity on the hoof and I'll fold it over 
But the problem I'm going to have with the second one, of course, everything's going to be getting a bit thick and I'm going to have an awful lot of paper all of a sudden to fold over. Look, and that's not liking that, is it, very much? But it will. It'll get used to life as a folded piece of paper. But now I don't want to stick the other one on top and I've stuck that one higher than I wanted it. What shall we do? What shall we do? I think I'm just going to go for it, you know, and we'll see what gives. I'll give myself a little... Give, give it a chance by giving it a crease down there in the right sort of place and then I'll stick this down um, and we'll see what we learn if you play safe do you know what I mean you never learn anything do you so I say just go for it and the beauty of printables of course oh hair hey, hello uh, the beauty of printables is it's just you make more prints you're using another piece of card and I find you don't have to waste things you know I've got a big pile of scrappy bits that I'll use for other things sooner or later right so that's that I'm not going to crease that before it's dried because that's a fool's game isn't it I'll give that a chance to adhere onto that so that's looking I want to fold it open I'll leave it alone right this page I'm quite excited about this little bit here because right what we're going to do here is stick this down on three sides, tuck spot, boom. And then I'm going to do something rather delightful on the top. So I'll stick this. Have I got that upside down? Which way do I want my rows that way? OK, so I'm sticking these three sides. I've printed on the back of things I don't need to print on the back of simply because I didn't know what I was going to do before I printed them out. There we go, three sides all done. Oh, you, if you don't know about me glue, I'll tell you about me glue. Shall I? I'll stick that down first on three sides. Delicate and lovely. There we are, look at that, so nice. The glue, hello. This is my glue. Kolal? Kolal. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, it's an alcohol based glue so it smells a little bit like a sharpie pen um it's not overwhelming by any stretch of the imagination um and you're using such a fine tip and such a little bit uh, it's not a problem at all um and i really really like it it doesn't pucker your paper um it glide, dries quite quick, quickly if you put a, a whole um if you cover completely it actually makes quite a rigid um finish when it's dry so it, it's quite interesting that you can have quite thin pieces of paper or you know card but it feels much more sturdy than that um there's nothing i don't like about this glue i love the clarity of it i love the consistency of it um i love its drying time it dries quickly but you have still got some wiggle room in there it's fab uh, and combined with uh, this ensemble um it's a winner absolute winner Right now then, these this is the bit that I've been looking forward to. This I'm putting at the front because favourite. This I'm going to put second because I need them to be alternate. Al alternate, alternate. And this one I'm going to put behind again like that so that I've got these beautiful staggered pockets. What's not to like about that? Um, right, so I'm going to glue the third one in first, the last one in first. I could put another one in. I could put another one in. I've got them. But I think that might be overkill. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, no, I think I'll go with three. Odd numbers are good. So I want to glue it as high as I can, but I don't want to have any of these bottom bits showing. So I'll just line that up so I know what I can get away with. And I think it's going to be about there. What the heck's going on here? I'm going to have to trim that down. Scissors! <laughs> scissors! Can't find any scissors. Come back here. Let's just trim a little bit of that off with this gizmo. It doesn't really matter here now because it's not going to be shown, is it? Oh, apart from the fact I need it to be big enough so I can get stuff in. But there we go. That'll be all right. Will that be all right? That's fine. Look, it's perfect. So I'll stick that in. There, that's where I need to be, isn't it? Can I get away with any higher? No, I need it to be lower. There, 
needs to go. There's, sorry, my hand's in the way. Um, there we are. I think I'm going to have to go. yet yeah, there. So I'll take these others off. Give myself a little line so I know where I'm going. Stick down my three sides. Bish. Bash. Turn you over. Pop you on. There, like that. Stick you down. And then I've got this one, which is going to go just like this. I think it's going to go like that. Is it going to go like that? Oh no! <laughs> it needs to come down quite a bit because I've got a cover. I don't want it sticking out down there, so we'll just uh, lower that a little bit to look at it uh, in the right place. So that's there, like that. Could trim that off, can't be bothered. Let's just go with it. Oh, I'm gonna be, that's gonna annoy me if I don't trim it off, isn't it? Hang on, I'll be back in a sec. That's that dealt with. <laughs> oh, look at the angle. <laughs> Straight would be nice. Um, <laughs> look at the state of that. Okay, let's go. Glue. All around, three little edges. There we are. Now then, when I've come to um, actually cut these out earlier, uh, oh, let's go into that line there, isn't it? Um, even though on the um, printable sheets on the kit, um, I've rounded all my edges because I love a rounded edge. Um, I've made the, on the kits, I haven't got any to show you, uh, I've made, oh here's one, look, a little bit of one. These aren't quite as deep or quite as big of a curve as my beautiful corner rounder, which I love. Um, and I've done that on purpose because I'm figuring that corner rounders of this sort of size are going to be about the same sort of size. So you've got a little bit to play with there. Um, so if you want to use a corner rounder, um, you can do and you won't have any white showing. So I've done that with all of these. It's taken more off because this is quite a, quite a small curve on the printables here. But I'm good with that. I'm happy. Oh, no, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> right. And then this one is the last one and that's going down on there. Do I need to trim any off? I'm not going to because I'll do it on a stupid angle and it'll look worse than it does now. So we'll just go with it. And my lovely little seam of glue. Look how close I can go to the edge and know that it's not going to spill over. It's beautiful, honestly. If you're not using this method, oh, I strongly recommend you do. And if you're using tape, oh, you know, with those disposable tape dispensers, please consider um, this instead of that. You've got so much plastic waste with those it, it oh i could cry when i see people using them it's your choice obviously but you know we've all got to think about what we can do to um help the environment and each other now then what i haven't thought about is am i gluing this edge no i'm all right there there that's that i really like that does it work let's have a look oh <laughs> look at that it works um Here's some little file thingies that can go in here. <laughs> Everything's a little bit stiff because it's new, but it'll it'll give and the paper will get used to its new way of being and it'll know what it needs to do for you. Now then, here's the crux. We've let this dry. Can I get this to fold? Yes, I can. Very delicate with this at first. Give it a little crease with my bone folder that's attached to my body. It's called a thumbnail. Also, it's made out of bone type material, isn't it? Keratin. So, you know, I have got a bone folder, but I've also got a fingernail. So there we are. And that's it. That's going to be a little bit stiff and weird for a while. Until it has a word with itself. And that's it. We're done. Number three is done. Hooray. So now we've got our three file thingies. We've got um, the first one, which we did that one so now we've got all of these look oh wow open what's inside oh this and this and i can stuff these now with oh all manner of different things i've got some things here i've got a lot actually out of shot 
Um, that doesn't go there, that goes at the back, look. And get those in there like that, beautiful. All sorts of little spots and bibbidies to, to keep your whatnots. Um, oh, that's a tuck spot there, isn't it? I've got, oh, I've got postcards. Look, oh, stick that in so that you can see it. Um, there we go. And then we've got this lovely one here. Uh, I've got more of these little divider, subject divider things somewhere. Where have they gone? Oh, there they are, look. Pop some of those in there, <laughs> in here, like that. Let's stick a couple of library cards in there. The dog's exploded again, here she goes. I don't know why. And something small I'll pop in this front pocket there. And I've got... Oh, Favourite design. Love that frame like that. Pop that in this little tuck spot. There. And, oh, Oh, I'm going to have to get into that area glue that down again that's not gone well um, and pop a couple of those in there could write on those i meant to print out the reverse of those with the lined paper uh, and didn't but i've got some more printouts that i haven't cut out and glued yet because you know there's only so much cutting out and edging that a girl can do in a day does that fit in there oh emma you absolute genius look at that it does oh, i like this this polka dot um, it faded blue. I just love that. Then we've got some little bits and bobs that we can pop about in here. And we've got some more library cards. There we go. I need some more things to put in here. I'll have to print some more things. I've got some spare pockets. They're no good to me. Um, pop a couple of those in there. Oh, and I've got one of these left. You know what I could do is um oh i've got some more bits over here i've also got this error page that i printed i printed it wrong um but i've cut it down into strips and i did intend to um cut it down round the edges ink it and then i've just got some more little little bits that match um and yes i've also got the the lines paper is that here no that's the plain sheet um can't see the lined at the moment um, which you could make, you know, you could print a little notebook out if you wanted to use paper, etc, etc. I could trim that down. Oh, what I could do actually is on one. Oh, look at them. They're beautiful. I could stick this on the back of one of them um, to be like another tuck spot. Let's do that. And then I've used up all of my... Uh, pages and that makes me very happy although it doesn't make me so happy to have to cover up this beautiful polka dot but there's lots more of it so we're all right eh yeah. there we go all the way around the three edges to the end and what's also nice about this glue and i know i'm not on commission have i stuck that right <laughs> um is um i trust it you know, I trust it, and that's important with a glue. It's important that you trust your glue. So there we are, another little tuck spot for, I don't know, they're too small. Uh, they need sorting out and round cornering, etc., etc. Uh, but you get the idea. And there we are. That's our first one, that's our middle one, and that's our last one. And let's move everything else out of the way, You're taking the limelight. Oh, well, what I haven't used is these little tags. Look at that. Um, I was going to glue all the way around. Let's do that. These You get uh, two of these in the kit. Um, that one's got a plain back on it. Uh, you print out more, obviously, if you need them. I'll go round. You could print on the back of this sheet, couldn't you? And you could have this open as like a little card type of thing. But I'm going to glue here. And make a little stuffed or loaded tag. Come on. Use my human folding thingy. My thumb. Pop that in there. That fits. Ta-da! And then I've got another little another little bit that I can pop in anywhere I like. And that's it. All three done. 
I've got my little lovely thing. I'll put, I'll stick that in. I'm going to pop that in. Where shall I pop it? Pop it in there. That's nice. And I need to go back in and I need to put some glue on there, don't I? I can clearly see that that hasn't had enough. And that's under a bit of strain as well. So that will need a little bit of, uh, a little bit of love. But we'll leave that for now. Um, and there we are. We have got three beautiful vintage floral file folders i could make and what i what i'm going to do eventually is i'm going to make more of these um i'm an artist i'm a creative i've got ideas and things and i need to jot those down you could have maybe family recipes or something like that this would make a lovely gift for somebody um so i think i'll make a little box for them covered with the same sorts of papers um and then they're there aren't they and they're nice to store let's just go through them one more time eh because it's lovely isn't it look at that oh i like that that was a nice idea wasn't it and you've got a little tuck spot here oh got something in there a little postcard blue i like that blue and then we've got these little index cards we can make as many of those as we like obviously they're in there oh i've got my little tuck spot on the back of my first page because i had a spare thing left over oh this is a nice page that's a nice little loaded page, isn't it, with the library cards and those. Have I got a tuck spot there? Yes, I have. And that's quite a... Oh, that's my single flap. I've got some things behind there. And I've got my little loaded tag there, which I stuck in prematurely and it's glued in. There we go. I'll go back and deal with that later. There, and then for the third one, look at this vintage lace. Love that third one we've got these oh yes look my clever little staggered pocket i like that it's like a plait my daughter's got very long a long plait and it's like that kind of shape stick that uh, in there like that um and then we've got what we've got here oh these two now this was what i was unsure of wasn't it this has had a little while to dry now let's see if it works oh hooray and then i've got a little sort of space for doing what I want. Yeah, that's worked. That's okay. That's all right. I was worried that this overlap here was going to be too thick, but it's not. It's fine. So there we go. Done. Um, oh, one thing I didn't say is that the kit um, comes in both A4 and um, US paper sizes, um, just so that it's easy for you wherever you are in the world. Uh, you don't have to faff about with enlarging or anything like that. You can just print straight from your files. If you use US paper, letter-sized paper, or if you use A4 paper, you're good to go and you don't have to worry, um, just so long as you're consistent, so everything prints out to a consistent size. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I very much enjoyed making it and fiddling about. Um, and there will be some links in the comments section below. If you could like and subscribe, that would be amazing. I've got a lot of kits in my Etsy shop, but I'm quite new to videoing. So to help me get that ball rolling, if you would like and sub subscribe and hit the bell as well. Um, and then I can I can create some more um, interesting, hopefully uh, fun and useful content. Goodbye for now.